Good morning, church. This morning, I'm going to read from Isaiah 53. I've got it here right in front of me. If I could title it, it would be A Man of Pain Familiar with Suffering. So Isaiah 53 from verse 1 to 5. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind. A man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised and we held him in low esteem. But surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. So we know that's a wonderful gospel message from uh, Psalm 53. But I want to talk about a friend of mine. Um, I'll call her Sandra. That wasn't her name, but I've changed her name just for privacy's sake. Back in the 90s, uh, she was a member of my church. She was extremely wise, um, full of the Holy Spirit, ministered in grace and mercy and was a real asset. Actually gave her... Um, the position of overseeing our ministry team. She was so wise, so attuned to the Holy Spirit. Then one day she came into my office and she was in absolute tears. She was howling on the floor in my office. And I said to her, what is wrong? And she said, I've been diagnosed with cancer and it's one of the worst you can get. So I said to her, well, let's pray for healing. And she said, I just feel so guilty. I said, well, why would you feel guilty? You see, she was, she had a phobia of death, an irrational fear that consumed her. And being a Christian, she felt guilt over this. She said, surely as a Christian, I shouldn't be like this, but I cannot help myself. I am so racked with fear. So I spent quite a long time talking and praying with her and it turned out that this fear was rooted to an experience when she was quite young. Around the age of four, over in Hong Kong, she was abducted on a boat by someone who was quite crazy and he threatened to just throw her off of this boat. Sadly, the police had to shoot this man in front of her and from then on, she was racked with a phobia of death. It haunted her her whole life, even later on in life when she gave her life to Jesus. She couldn't find peace over this. Anyway, over we started a journey together. Um, I assured her that I would pray for her daily for healing and I did so and we'd meet up regularly and we'd pray for healing. We did everything the Bible tells us to do when it comes to healing. We had the elders anoint her with oil and a five-year journey began of a battle with my friend Sandra and this cancer. After five years, and we were very close, actually, very, very close friends, her and her husband, very close friends to me and Sarah. And we went through a lot of stuff together. We would ask their advice over stuff. They were a very, very wise, godly couple. Anyway, um, I had a phone call one night about one or two in the morning. And it was the family who were with her over in, I think, Maidstone Hospital. And we was over Halton Kirby at the time. We just moved back from Devon after a church plant. So I said to the family, I'm on my way. And they said, no, no, just stay and pray where you are. She's not going to last an hour. So I was still praying for healing. I went downstairs and in the mid morning, just praying, Lord, heal her, heal her. Just quoting all the verses I could find on the Bible on healing. Then God reminded me of something I said to her that time in the office when she was on her knees howling, saying, I am so afraid. I said to her, Sandra, 
I said, I don't believe Jesus would leave you like this. I said, I really don't. I said, I believe when it's your time to go, he will literally come and take you by the hand and lead you into glory. Because he's faithful and true and he's with us always in every situation. So while I was praying for healing, I, this suddenly dropped down. It's like God said, remember what you prayed for her. Pray that. So I had to surrender all my thoughts on Lord Healer. You know, she was such an asset to the kingdom of God here on the earth. I thought, Lord, why would you take her early? Anyway, I began to pray, OK, Jesus, if this is your will, if this is what you want, I surrender to your ways and I trust you. Take her by the hand. Be close to her. Heal all of her fears. Bring her your peace and lead her into glory. And after a while, I felt at peace. So went back to bed and then later on in the day, contacted the family and then went to see them. When I got there, it was quite late afternoon. I was surprised by the joy I walked into. I was expecting to come in. She had a few children. They were um, quite grown up, um, probably in their early 20s. So... I was talking to her husband and they were smiling and chatting. And I said, look, I'm sorry for your loss. This is so sad. And they went, it was wonderful. I said, what was wonderful? They said, Sandra was talking to them as she was fading away. And then she was talking to Jesus. She just turned and was talking to him. Then she turned and spoke to them. Then she turned and spoke to Jesus. They said the room was full of such peace and joy. It was a beautiful experience. Then she turned and spoke to them and said goodbye, turned and spoke to Jesus and literally went to be with him. He is faithful. He is true. His ways aren't always our ways. He promises to be with us always. And over these years of walking with him, I've seen him turn up in the darkest most hopeless situation and turn it all around. What a faithful God we've got. Uh, I had the privilege of going to Sandra's funeral. It's actually in our church, but her son-in-law led the worship and absolutely what a wonderful celebration it was. And I know and her family know that we're all going to meet again in heaven and the celebration then will be much, much bigger. So people of God, our suffering servant is familiar with pain, familiar with suffering, unprotected from it, went through the very things that we go through and more. He understands and he ministers his love always. Be blessed. See you on Sunday. Goodbye for now.